At the end of this video, you should be able to explain the mathematical relationship among speed, wavelength, and frequency of electromagnetic radiation. Chapter 4, sec Section 1, The Development of a New Atomic Model The Rutherford model of the atom was an improvement over previous models, but it was incomplete. It did not explain where the atom's negatively charged electrons are located in the space surrounding its positively charged nucleus. After all, it was well known that oppositely charged particles attract each other. So what prevented the negative electrons from being drawn into the positive nucleus? In the early 20th century, a new atomic model evolved as a result of investigations into the absorption and emission of light by matter. These studies revealed an intimate relationship between light and an atom's electrons. This new understanding led directly to a revolutionary view of the nature of energy, matter, and atomic structure. Properties of Light Before 1900, scientists thought light behaved solely as a wave. This belief changed when it was later discovered that light was, also has particle-like characteristics. Still, many of light's properties can be described in terms of waves. A quick review of these wave-like properties will help you understand the basic theory of light as it existed at the beginning of the 20th century. The Wave Description of Light Visible light is a kind of electromagnetic radiation, which is a form of energy that exhibits wave-like behavior as it travels through space. Other kinds of electromagnetic radiation, including X-rays, ultraviolet and infrared light, microwaves, and radio waves. Together, all forms of electromagnetic radiation form the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is represented in figure 4-1 on page 92 of your text or on the screen now. All forms of electromagnetic radiation move at a constant speed of about 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second through a vacuum and at a slightly slower speed through matter. Because air is mostly empty space, the value of 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second is also light's approximate speed through air. The significant feature of wave motion is its repetitive nature, which can be characterized by the measurable pro uh, properties of wavelength and frequency. Wavelength, represented by the Greek symbol lambda, is the distance between corresponding points on adjacent waves. Depending on the particular form of electromagnetic radiation, the unit for wavelength is the meter, centimeter, or nanometer. One nanometer is equal to one times 10 to the negative ninth meters, as is shown in figure 4-1. Frequency, represented by the Greek letter nu, is defined as the number of waves that pass a given point in a specified time, usually one second. Frequency is represented in waves per second. One wave per second is called a Hertz, HZ, named for Heinrich Hertz, who was a pioneer in the study of electromagnetic radiation. Frequency and wavelength are mathematic re mathematically related to each other. For electromagnetic radiation, this relationship is written as follows. C is equal to lambda multiplied by nu. In, the, in this equation, C is the speed of light. Lambda is the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave, and nu is the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. Because C is the same for all electromagnetic radiation, the product, lambda nu, is a constant. Consequently, we know that lambda is inversely proportional to nu. In other words, as the wavelength of light decreases, its frequency increases, and vice versa. Figure 4-2 on page 92 of your text, or on the screen now, illustrates the properties of wavelength and frequency for a familiar kind of wave, a wave on the surface of water. The wavelength in figure 4-2a has a longer wavelength and a lower frequency than the wave in 4-2b. At this point, you should be able to explain the mathematical relationship among speed, wavelength, and frequency of electromagnetic radiation.